Welcome to Talk New Market VA podcast, episode 12, hosted by the Town of New Market staff. With me, as always, is Amber Smoot, the Events and Marketing Director. Hey, hey. And our special guest today is Mr. Todd Walters, the Town Manager. Welcome, Todd. Good morning. Thank you. We got a lot to cover. Just our little briefing with Todd, the Town fortunately or unfortunately we have a lot of projects going on um sort of all at one time but let's talk about some special events first amber what do you think oh we we can definitely start with that um september is a ridiculous busy month for me um just because mother nature in july decided that she didn't like me oh she doesn't like you and she just planned to provide some moisture for the community yeah which is great we need rain when we get the rain that's wonderful but uh, for these outside events I have to move so September we have crossroads on September 2nd with everyday people and normally that's our last one but that's not all folks I um, had to reschedule one in July so September 2nd crossroads um, is always at the new market uh, rebel baseball field from 6.30 to 9, it is free admission concert, thanks to all of our wonderful sponsors that help out with that. And then we have September 10th, which is not, so this this is not a new market event. This is a whole county event. Um, we are going to continue our celebration of 250th um, this year for Shenandoah County. And the 250th committee is hosting a fall bash, which is going to be in Tomsbrook at the Hotto Keller um, Homestead. And it is going to be huge. It's more, this event is more of a, like, nod to the culture, right? Over the past 250 years, like, ancestors and just kind of the history. And there's going to be live music and lots of vendors, lots of fun activities. So go to sc250.org and you can check out all the information and the details for that. But I wanted to make sure that everybody kind of has that on their, their calendar because, how often do you get to celebrate 250 years for, you know, a birthday party? So I for sure will make that. You're not going to make that? I don't think I'll have a 250th birthday You're party. You're not going to? Okay. Well, We're going to shoot for it, but I don't know. Why don't we just do a pre-250th birthday party for you, right? We can we can set that up. Um, September 11th, so that same weekend I have puppy pool party on that Sunday. That's always, you know, a splashing good time. Cha-ching! <laughs> See what I did there? Um so the puppy pool party registration is open. You do not have to register, pre-register. Um, you can register the day of. It just always makes, you know, registration and signing in a lot faster and easier. It is, like I said, on September 11th from 1 to 4. Um, your, your fur baby has to be six months or older. And guess what? They cannot be aggressive. They have to be nice and play well with others. And the adults cannot, or children, no humans, are allowed in the pool. Um, just for safety reasons, but it's always such a wonderful time, even if you don't have fur babies, but you think it would be kind of fun to watch. We have folks that do that too. It's $3 per fur baby. Humans get in free. So there is that. September 17th, I have a movie night. That'll be Spider-Man No Way Home, and that is free. All of our movie nights are free at the New Market Community Park, and that one will start at sundown. And as we know, sundown is always different depending on the month. So hopefully that'll probably be starting at like 7.30, 7.45. And we do have sponsors for that, which is fantastic because that allows us to get new things like speakers. Like we did this year, new speakers. It was a necessary upgrade. So thank you to Amy Helsley, who is a final financial advisor with um, Edward Jones. And then Sheila Hall, who is a real realtor for Cobalt Banker Premier. Um, they kind of joined together and... And your mama. Yeah, she, yeah, Sheila Hall is my mama. Um, but they they really do like to reach out to and get involved with community things. So I think that's wonderful. Um, September 23rd, that's where we have that last crossroads. We have Big City Band on September 23rd. And this is our first time having them, right? This is, yeah, this is our first time having them. And honest, I have to say, huge shout out to Big City Band. You know, they're out of the Elkton um, area. Grotto and somewhere. Grotto somewhere. And I have reached out to them before, but they always are super booked. And I had to reschedule and get a new band. And 
because they knew I was in a pinch, they were like, yeah, we'll do it, even though they're, oh, wow. they're pretty, pretty booked and busy. So I really appreciate them coming in um, to help us out with that. So that's Crossroads, the end of Crossroads for this, that, this year, um, September 24th, Fall Festival. The New Market Chamber of Commerce is holding their Fall Festival. It'll be from 9 to 2. So vendors downtown, other food, shop local, all of our wonderful shops will be open as well. Um, they'll have live entertainment by Spencer Hatcher. Spencer Hatchet, Hatcher? I can't remember. I think it's that's Hatcher. What, Hatcher, yeah. And let's see. That's it for September events. Uh, I see. That's it. We missed one. What I missed one. Which one September 18th, there will oh, be yeah. the Family Youth Initiative is hosting a suicide awareness event. Uh, it's a motorcycle ride starting in Front Royal, coming to Strasburg, Woodstock, Mount Jackson, stopping point is in Newmarket. And then they will leave there and go into Page County and then back up in the Front Royal area. Uh, but from, I think it's just before lunch, uh, there will be some things. Information, groups will be in the gym. Um, they're having an art display. Their plan is to have some hot dogs and refreshments. Uh, so, so it's open to the public, not just the riders. Yes, um, and, and people are encouraged to attend. I think there's going to be a few speakers, um, some some folks that have a uh, unfortunate connection to family members that have completed suicide. So it, it's uh, looking forward to this event and having that in Newmarket. Um, there will be more information on Facebook uh, up to the event and flyers around different localities. But yeah, that will be at the community center in the gym um, Sunday, September 18th. And uh, I know it ends at 12, but I think it starts maybe around 11. Okay. So I will say that that's not, it, it's on my radar. That one is on, on my radar, but uh, Chief Franker here has been kind of helping helping more with that event. So I think that's that's fantastic. And I love the fact, any any time that we can partner with another organization yeah. and um, bring more folks to new market and obviously awareness to you know any issues that are you know current day so that's great um, which we've partnered with family youth initiative on several things they've attended the July or the Independence Day celebration yeah. national night out um, on national night out we had a great turnout uh, yes a we lot, did. lot of folks um, to the point where we had to go get more hot dogs which is not a bad thing um, but that couldn't happen without our sponsorship, uh, your help, Lindsay in the front office. Uh, I'm so a, glad she does that. Cause yes, me too. She's, very, she's, very she's grateful great. for that. Um, and grateful for everybody that came. And we, Lindsay got some really cool door prizes for all ages. And uh, it was just, just a big event. It was, it was neat and good to see all the local people and uh, people from other localities mm -hmm. joining us and this year we did a little different we had those big inflatables yeah those the are huge bounce hit. house the basketball um, and there was an obstacle course but yeah really good time we appreciate all the sponsorship for that and before we move on from events just looking ahead into october october 1st is our last movie night so that's another one that i had to reschedule due to rain so we will be hosting that on October 1st, again, sundown. So by October 1st, sundown will probably be like 7.15. So, or um, it's Or earlier. It's, it's so hard. That is, that is one thing that's really hard um, about the movie nights in the park, waiting for that sundown to hit to where you can actually see it. And that's October 1st. October 15th we is our Fairway 5K. And that is, this is 7 seven years now our seventh annual and with that our registration is open early registration is $25 and you can register online or at the office and early bird registration in September 30th after that it'll be $30 and if you aren't aware 
and are familiar with Fairway 5K. This is a great event to help raise funds for our New Market Community Park, which we have our great fitness trail that we're constantly trying to work on and make better. And with this, we are raising funds for new exercise equipment around, along the fitness trail to replace some of the older things that are there. I think most of them now, Chris, are there on the south end of the park, right? Everything more north end has yeah. been replaced for the most part. Yeah, right? there's just a few uh, few things left, and it's the the new equipment is um, body resistant, so your your weight of your body is provides the resistant for just about every part of your body. I think you can use up there to build some strength and exercise, but there's only a few pieces left, not many at all. And then with Fairway, we partner with the Shimbali Golf Course, a uh, golf resort because we get to go through there. So you start in the Newmarket Community Park at 8 a.m. and then you leave there and go down cadet and then we'll cut across and yes there are signs and law enforcement to help you along the way yeah. and you get over to the Shimbali golf course and you get beautiful views and this is not a flat run there are some flat 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 spots but then there are hills and it does provide a little bit um of i'll say a hardship because if it's me it's a hardship <laughs> um some people might but what's another word for um, avid runners it's going to be a little more there's a word. Apparently, none of us are runners. But anyway, I mean, I think that's me. obvious for yeah. me. Not, not, Just, not much of a runner. <laughs> run run. But that's another great thing about this is you don't have to run. Yeah. You can you can walk if you have a kiddo and a stroller. You can bring the stroller. The only thing we say is you can't have your fur babies. Um, they they're not allowed on the golf course. So can't bring fur babies. But we do encourage folks any age to come. Um, we do have a gentleman that has ran for or walked the whole thing the past five years that I've been here, and he's in his 90s. And yeah. it is just such a wonderful thing to see him finish, come through that finish line, him and his son. And so it doesn't matter. Come on out, help support, you know, encourage, well, encouraging the healthy communities and healthy living, but also support the community park. And the, it's chip time. I don't know if you said that, but I did not. It, it is, it chip, is time. chip time. So. It's a little tag on your uh, number tag or yeah, what yeah. have you, and your bib. I do know your that bib. Name. I do your know bib. That name. Your bib <laughs> number has a chip on it, yeah. and um, it's really accurate. So yeah. the the folks that do those all the time enjoy that, and a lot of those folks won't do it unless it is chip time. So yeah. really good thing, and fortunate that we made that connection several years ago with that company. And just going back to the events, um, you know, I know this year it seemed like every event, it, it seemed to be more and more people there. I think over the years, these things have just kept growing and kept growing, and, and a lot of that is kudos to Amber for, for making these things happen. But with that, I mean, there are a lot of people involved in these events it takes a lot of work it takes a lot of setup breakdown so it, it is really a um, like the July 4th event I mean it's you've got multiple people yes. involved and it takes a lot of effort for those few hours to make it successful and um, so thank you to all all yes. you and Chris and everybody else that are involved, Public Works, uh, all Public they works. have to do to, to help get all these things going and make them a, a success. Yeah, because Public Works, they are my best friend. And I know sometimes they roll their eyes at me. I know that. Um, but well, it's I, not just it's, them. I'm, it's I'm it's not just that, I know. But, but really, Public Works helps with setups and trust me nobody nobody wants me to try and back up that the stage our little stage trailer trying to back it up there yeah we don't we don't need any of that so thank you public works for keeping everybody <clears throat> safe and helping me with events um actually last month i had messed i had messed up my back and i wasn't able to do most of the things that i normally do i'm if you if you know me i'm a do it myself and I had to really rely on them heavily. So I 
I really appreciate them coming in and doing the extra. It really takes an army. I mean, we everything that we do in the town, it's, it, it takes all of us. We, we all have some part in majority of everything that's going on here. We'll talk about some of that when Todd gets to the update section. But. And I think the only other thing I have on my list before we like dive into all of New Market and all the wonderful projects is that the town office will be closed on Labor Day. So that would be September the 5th. The office will be closed. And I do believe that weekend is the police department will be participating in it's it's checkpoint, like strike, checkpoint force. strike force. Yeah. Um, just remember it is Labor Day. It's a holiday and people like to go out and, you know, do the end of the summer type things. But please make sure that you guys are being safe while doing it. Make sure you get, you know, a designated driver or you just hang out where you're at and yeah. have a wonderful, you know, adult sleepover or whatever. But please make sure that you're being safe in whatever it is that you're doing. And and with that, DMV has a several new campaigns um, that originated in August um, that they're pushing out, which during the holidays, there's always DMV campaigns, but it's, you can check those out on DMV's website. Amber shares a lot of the posts on Facebook about those campaigns. Uh, there's Smart, Safe, and Sober uh, Virginia website that lists that, NHTSA's website. Yeah, appreciate you bringing that up. That's important. Absolutely. All right, we're going to dive into some fun things. All the things that you guys may not know are going on. So there is so many projects right now. I think this is such a wonderful moment for New Market because we have lots of projects going on in the background that you guys don't see. And some of these projects have been in the making for several years because if you aren't aware, sometimes projects take longer than we would like, not because of any fault of our own or fault of anybody. It's just the way the planning has to go and jumping through hoops and things of that nature. But we wanted to bring these projects to your attention so you know what we have going on, what you can look forward to. And that's why we have Todd here with us today. Um, he is, you know at the helm running everything and making sure everything's going as planned and keeping us all in line so Todd you want to start sure we can start um, I just got a list here and I'll, I'll try to be brief about the different projects um, if you have been to the town office you have noticed we did uh, repave our front parking lot uh, this year we still have another half to do which is the side in the back um, to my knowledge, Chris, I think you can correct me if I'm wrong, this parking lot has never been redone, so it's... Since 1993. So it's 30 years old, and it had lived its life, and you could tell it. Um, we had some settlement, we had large cracks. Cracks, that just, yep. you which is typical for, for asphalt. Yeah. And lots of, there are several places that Public Works has patched and, yep. you know, has kind of helped it with its life and we hope by you know next year next budget season we can complete it and and fix the the areas in the back where police department parks and in the uh, employees park and we also um, have been doing some work on the inside of the building the council chambers has totally been I guess I would say totally redone looks uh, different totally different we paint, painted new carpet, hung some uh, TVs, hung some TVs, some new uh, furniture. So it's uh, it, yeah. If you if you haven't seen it, it, it does look totally different. Uh, looks good. Which there, it's been a long time since we painted in there or the carpet, and we made a decision to to paint the desk area I'm not sure the exact term where council yeah. and you said but um that to my knowledge has never had anything done to it since the building was completed um it was showing a lot of wear and tear and you know 30 years on that and so it was the carpet yeah the carpet, the, was in the, the carpet was has been replaced i think it was probably over 
10, 15 years ago, maybe, but yeah. And it, it looks super nice. I, I, I think it turned out well. And, and with that, I mean, naturally there's a cost to all that, but we were, when this building was built 30 years ago or whatever, we were <clears throat> blessed to receive money um, from a local resident and that money was to be used for the maintenance of this building and that money had been in a bank account for quite a while and it was drawing interest so we were able to a lot of this work that has been done I'm not going to say all of it but a lot of this work that has been done and completed has been basically out of that donation that was given to us so um, that's always a good thing that we can do some things that that always doesn't cost our taxpayers and citizens. And and that was the request of the money to be that's, put back that, into it the was specifically for the maintenance and upkeep of this building. Yeah, the municipal the property. property. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> and on that note, if you haven't rode by and seen the flowers out front and the maintenance does a good job by keeping up with the grass and you know the summer rain they feel like we've maybe mowed twice a week sometimes but yeah. the the flowers out front and the, the landscaping looks really good um, kudos to donna lore for planting those flowers and public works watering them but um, it, it really looks good it's super it nice everything you know it just looks amazing around here and i will say for you to come and check out the council chambers a great time to do that is at our town council meetings that are held the third monday of the month unless a monday happens to be a holiday then we move it but um, it's usually third monday of the month and it starts at 6 30 and we always encourage folks to to attend it's a great way to come see what we've done yep. and what what's happening and what's going on in your town and as I sit here and look out the window, I failed to mention we also had all the windows replaced and uh, now have more energy efficient windows in the, in the office here. Yes. So. I mean, basically we're not feeling an air coming through the windows right yeah, now. Let's, yeah. Yes. Our, our windows were the original windows, but wood. Original, original wood, wood windows. Wood windows, yeah. Not real efficient and you literally could see the blinds moving on a breezy day and Mm -hmm. um, winter and, and it wasn't because we had the windows up no. because we couldn't yeah. get them up yeah. <laughs> that, yeah, that, that wasn't an option yeah. so. but now we, we have new windows and efficient and I can tell a difference yeah hopefully we'll see some difference in our electric bills coming up and I guess the bigger things um, well there's a lot of things but a couple of the bigger things that's happened this year is we were gifted two properties I believe everybody is aware that we were gifted the community center building and property um, and we were also gifted the American Legion building and property. Um, the community center we are working on a plan uh, the goal is to rehab the building some and, and get it opened up and, and use it. Um, we are currently still using it some and it's really based on the tenants that were already there when we um, took it over and, and we're following through with that. We have applied for a grant through DHCD, the Department of Housing um, Community Development. We were fortunate enough to, I don't want to say we were awarded that grant, but we was awarded enough to be able to start the process to get the rest of the grant, which is will allow us to uh, hire a consultant and do some preliminary engineering on the building. It will allow us to um, see what we can do there, what we maybe can't do there, and the bigger thing is what the costs are. So we're hoping, we are working on that. There's like four or five different steps we have to do before September 30th, and then we turn this information back into uh, DHCD, and then hopefully we will be awarded the rest of the money and be able to hire a consultant. There are surveys still out, I believe, right? Yes. Amber, uh, about yes. 
you know, what people would like to see at the community center, what activities or anything that people would like to share. Um, the American Legion property was gifted to us. They had gotten to a point where I guess it's they just weren't having a lot of member members or membership and and they had to make a difficult and decision. had to make a difficult decision and they approached us about would we take it over and um, we actually before we ever said yeah we looked at some options of what we could do with it and did we want to keep it and do something with it and then we went back and the American Legion folks basically said look we want to be able to keep this money in the community and be able to help our community so if you decide to sell it you know we are fine with that and that is what council decided to do it is actually right now on the market but um, hopefully we will get that sold here soon uh, we do have some interest in it now and and council has voted to take the money that we get out of the sale of this property and they will put that directly to the community center and they also will match that with some funding some of the ARPA funding we have got so um, the community center is a important project I believe for this council and they want to see this um, through and so hopefully in the next I mean, it's not going to be quick. Um, this is definitely a, a long process. Yeah, you're, 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 I don't know how many years, but you're probably years away from seeing it and its full at its full potential. And some of the things, though, we've been working there, doing different things. Um, the the folks that were on the board there did a good job with, you know, updating rooms when funds allowed and. Uh, doing projects and since us taking it over us is in the town of Newmarket we have been working down there too we uh, brought in some inmates from a local uh, facility I think it was eight seven or eight of them came and uh, did some serious cleaning for us and um, just things like that and we have some other small things that were thinking or looking into trying to, to do just to improve the place until we get to a point where a decision is going to be made to wh what are we going to do? Uh, right. What's that going to look like? So, I think though that over, you know, looking at some of the surveys that we've gotten, we do have a steering committee um, that has been formed and we will be reaching out, you know, through throughout the time to get more um, input. But really the ultimate goal is to create a viable space, a, a space that people can feel comfortable in that is going to, you know, help help the community and not just our community, but surrounding communities as well. I mean, how awesome to think that we would have a community center here in the South End that, you know, can potentially do, you know, run the gamut of things as far as, um, like classes or you know senior programs or anything like that so we have a really long list of some really cool ideas and we can always you know use more just to kind of help guide us so if you want to look on our the Facebook page the Newmarket Community Center Facebook page or the towns the survey is posted there we'd love to hear from you um, I know that some people have comment like done comments under the Facebook page and I just really encourage people to take those comments and put them in the survey. It's just so much easier for us to collect that, that data and keep it all in one place versus having to source 500 million platforms. So take the time. It's really not long. I mean, there's only no, a few. It's, yeah, super, it's less super, than five questions, I think. Yeah, super simple, but sometimes simple is all you need. I mean, you can get a lot of information out of that. So help us out with that. We do want to hear from you. And going forward, we look we look to have it a place that everybody can be proud of um, in Newmarket and just the south end of the county. Well, and, and you you say the south end of the county, but to my knowledge, I think it could be. To my knowledge, there is no other community center in Shenandoah County like 
what we're talking about. No, not think. what we're. Um, so you know, we may have something unique for the county, hopefully that uh, will bring people to town, and we'll, you know. But like I said, that's that's a little ways down the road, but it is on on the horizon. Got to plant the seed somewhere, yeah, that's right? That's right. You got to start somewhere. Got to start somewhere. Yeah. And especially with we know the history of the building, and there's so many that have such a love. Yeah. For the yeah. community center when they remember it was a school That's right. and have so many memories. So we want to um, make sure that we keep that love there. Yep. And speaking of buildings, we also are in the process of looking at building a new public works building uh, for our public works department. Um, council has approved that this year in the budget. We are, we have a I would say we have a design, maybe a 60% design right now, and we're working with an engineer to try to get that finalized and, and try to get some prices on it. Um, with everything else, or like everything else, cost has just escalated on everything, and especially building and building products. But So we're hoping to, you know, right now we do have a schedule, but we're hoping to maybe have this thing at least up and under roof by next spring and that's very aggressive but and you know you start working during the winter that can certainly slow you down but um, something that you know we have something that is needed um, so I, we're hoping that you know we can make this happen and, and get it done at a very cost effective way and and it's not just because we need an updated building, but the current building is doesn't meet our needs. We the only thing that you can literally pull in there is a, a pickup truck. We right. we have some bigger equipment now, a backhoe and uh, um, a um, recently or last year we purchased the mini excavator. Those pieces of equipment we cannot get into the current maintenance building uh the bigger dump truck i think the smaller dump trucks just barely fit in there but you can't raise the bed if you had a mechanical issue under that um we've had some water leak through the roof and um, it, it i that building has been in that has been there since i've been here since uh 23 years full time but when I was 13 that building was here I remember walking in it the first time and we've had some additions onto it but um, we have outgrown that building yeah. and, and with today's equipment and technology uh, it's just out. It's, it's time yeah it's, it's just time what, one thing real quick Todd I was just thinking and, and that folks may see this during public works utilizing this but this current budget we're in funds were approved to buy a vacuum system trailer yeah a vac trailer a vac trailer yeah. that you know more about than i do i just had the privilege of seeing it in use but it, it's to help with digging and and clean out around pipes and valve boxes and uh it, it just will reduce time but it's also efficient and a little safer for guys than being down in a hole and such. Yeah. Yeah, and I'm not certainly not an expert on on it, but yeah, it it'll provide I mean just in the last couple well just this week I know it's been used on a couple of different projects and it's been a lot of help uh, to the guys and it does it reduces um you know the labor intensity of, of some of these things and it allows us or them to you know clean out a whole or valve boxes i mean these valve boxes these water line valve boxes if they're not opened or used often you know a lot of time over time they just get filled with silt and gravel and everything else and then when you need it you can't you know it takes forever to to get your valve on or off so this this piece of equipment will help you'll be able to clean those out pretty pretty quickly and um, so yeah it's it's and, been 
a lot of times those valve boxes are in the middle of an intersection or off to the side of an intersection. They, it's not just something you get a shovel down right. in and clean it out. It's mm -hmm. a, a round pipe that's, what, six inches or so in diameter yeah. that you, you, you got to work for. So that, that's been a, a great addition to the maintenance department for efficiency and risk management and to, to speed up that process. Yeah. Speaking of that, uh, it's a good good time and a good way to go right into this. Uh, we are doing some water line uh, work. Obviously, we have our water improvement project, which is you know two well new water tank or tanks. It depends on where we are on our existing tank, but I, I feel like based on some estimates we've seen, it's going to be just replacing the existing tank and adding the other one for redundancy and stuff. But, uh, so the, we're hoping to have that design done and have some bid documents ready to get that thing bid by the end of this year. Um, once again, that all relies on some other things, but uh, that is our goal right now and we want to get that project, we need to get that project going. Um, there again, cost es escalation is going to impact us on, we were all also want to do quite a bit of line replacement of some water lines we have that just are in need of re replacement, but just depending on what the costs are and how they come back on, on the tank or tanks uh, will depend on what we do as far as how much line replacement we can do. Our guys will be doing a line replacement on Fairway Drive. It's actually a replacement and an upgrade of a line that we've had numerous issues out of um, since I've been here. I'm not sure how many little leaks we've had on that line, but so we're gonna we're gonna tackle that project ourselves, and and our crews will be installing that line. And I'm not sure when this is going to air, but um, this week they actually worked there and and got some work done that we needed to do at the beginning of the project and that was to replace a valve up at Clicks Lane and Fairway and that now has been completed so that will allow them to move to the next phase and, and start the replacement of that line. We are currently doing some sewer improvement projects or repairs in the Pleasant View subdivision. We've had some lines TV'd uh, and we found some issues up there and we have a contractor in there now working on some of these repairs for us. Um, I'm not sure how long that may take, but, but we have that going also. So a lot of infrastructure type work is going on. Um, the one thing with infrastructure is it's, you know, it's not pretty. It's, it's not, not pretty money. It's not pretty. <laughs> you don't get to see it. But what's not pretty is if you don't if do you it. don't have it. That's right. So you know a lot of that work is being done, and um, it's just stuff that has to be done. And when you have an aging infrastructure, and it's not just Newmarket; it's everywhere, especially in the United States. I mean, these are the things that you you have to work on and, and try to repair, replace, and that's what we're trying to do right now. We did. We've been talking about this for a couple of years. We did apply for some funding through VDOT for a Route 211 sidewalk extension from uh, Conger Street down to, I'm going to say, Dollar General Life Care area. It depends on how much uh, the bids come in. Those those funds won't, wasn't, we were originally told those funds were not going to be available until 2025, and that was just due to when COVID hit, you know, the, the state's money kind of slowed down just like everybody else's and they started pushing some of these projects off. Since then, they have the revenues and the state's money has come back and so now they have started looking at some of these projects and our project was actually one of them that they looked at to see if they could move it forward and they did. So that means that our funds will be available in the FY24, but that actually starts in July of next year, which is July of 23. So 
So hopefully after July 1 of next year, we will be able to start the process of getting that work designed and getting that sidewalk installed. Um, with, with that money, there are certain, there's a process, there are certain things you can and can't do, and there's not much we can do prior to July 1 of 2023. So, um, but, it, you know, it doesn't sound like a lot, but again, move forward a year, so that's... We'll take it. Yeah, we'll take it. That's a big deal. It'll, it'll improve, it'll improve the pedestrian safety yes, out it's, there. It's, it's definitely needed. It, it's not one of those things that we're not aware of. It's just that's going to be a costly, costly project. Yeah. And and a lot of times it's easy to say let's just put a sidewalk in, but it's it's not as easy as it sounds. Or that it's so easy to say these things, but um, I know since I've been here, this has been a project that's been on the table, and it just just the process, the different uh, organizations that we have to work with, and their time frame, and all of those things. Um, come into play and yep. we just we can't speed it up Even if we wanted to we can't but we just know like I said in the beginning all these things in the background that we've been working on You guys don't see it, but we are just plugging along and trying to get these things in place to make a better better community for you and um, Sidewalks are definitely on the list. Yeah, so yep. the last thing I got will be the the park and uh, just we have a couple of things going in our park. We are going to re be replacing the lighting at the tennis courts and make the change all those lightings that lights out to LED lights. And Public Works has been, actually been working on the little. There's a little building at the big field. They it needed some work and some attention, and that's actually going on right now. It may actually be completed today. I'm not even sure. I think we were waiting on some windows or something, yeah. but they Public Works did a really good job by re reciting it. I guess yeah, is that's a, yeah, basically took it down to its shell and resided. Yeah. yeah, so that's that's a quick update of what all we got going on, and uh, I appreciate y'all letting me to allow me to share that and uh, get it out there for everybody. I know there's always questions about where's this project at or where that project at. Yes, so hopefully this will this will help answer some of those questions. All yeah, right. that's a lot. That there is a lot, um, and then I don't know where we're at on on time here, but yeah, about two minutes. Yeah, okay, so real quick, two minutes on the other other projects that we have going on um, on my plate and the teams is. We did our rebranding in 2020, came out with the rebrand, and as we roll out with the branding, we are um, looking at opening up our new website, like revealing our new website here in September, uh, hopefully after sometime after Labor Day, so we're working really hard on that. This new website is going to be a lot easier to use, you know, user-friendly, and um, it's just going to be updated, and I think you guys are going to be really excited about it just because it is going to be um there's i don't know i'm just loving the layout right now than before it is going to have a lot of more highlights there in the front on the main page so you can get stuff fast and um, quicker and then also wayfinding signage we have lots of signs here in town that just aren't cohesive and some of them just quite frankly don't make sense and they did at the time. They absolutely made sense at the time, but they, they don't now, so we are working on wayfinding signage as well. Yeah, there, there's, a, there's a lot going on. There's always a lot going on inside the building or, you know, PD, town administration, public works, uh, even the water treatment plant. There's, there's a lot that goes on daily and, and things that we're trying to be more efficient and proven and taking care of our... Um, things are assets but well amber do you have anything else no i think that's it for now todd i do not thank you i will just leave you with this uh mid-october there will be a surprise at the police department um we'll, just we're just gonna it. leave it at that <laughs> um, but uh let the anticipation yeah in the middle of october you'll hear about it so um please stay safe if you need anything um please do not hesitate contact the town of Newmarket uh, and check 
the social media. Have a great day.